on the issue of the resurrection of Jesus. Two lines of evidence, historical evidence and supporting evidence that we're going to provide. First, the historical evidence. Did Jesus die by crucifixion? Well, first, it is the unanimous written testimony concerning what happened to Jesus. When we look at Jewish references, we have multiple Jewish references. We've got the Talmud, we've got Marabar Serapian, who's writing a letter. We've got Josephus, the Jewish historian, uh, who's writing for the Romans. All of these Jewish sources say Jesus died by crucifixion, as it were. We have Gentile sources. We've got Tacitus and Lucian, both of whom say that Jesus died. Of course, you've got first-generation Christians, uh, and by that I mean Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Paul, Peter. Um, these folk all say Jesus died on the cross. It is the unanimous testimony of early Christianity, and it's the unanimous testimony of second-generation Christianity. Folks like Papias, um, Clement, Polycarp, Ignatius. That this is what people say happened to Jesus mattered. It does matter. On the flip side, the fact that there's no reference to the fact that Jesus may have survived crucifixion also matters. Nobody even dares to say Jesus survived crucifixion. And the reason why is because people knew what crucifixion was back then. Today, when we'll say, perhaps Jesus survived the crucifixion, uh, we are basically showing ignorance of what the crucifixion process was. 